Shooting happened as students across the country prepare for another walkout demanding more gun control. More than 2,000 events are scheduled, and this is actually a live look at a walkout happening right now. Look at all you can see the signs and lots of students there to make sure that their voices are heard. ABC's Maggie Ruley has the story from New York City. It's becoming a familiar sight. Students across the country walking out of class. We won't stop until change happens. Demanding action be taken against gun violence. This school in New York City is just one of 2,000 schools that are walking out of class today, but organizers say that unlike other walkouts, this one's a little bit different because the students, when they walk out, they're not coming back for the entire day. It's not going to be a day off, it's going to be a day on. You know, it's, it's important that people realize that though we won't be in class, this will be a day where communities will will, will, will really be working together to get something done. Lane Murdoch, a 16-year-old from Ridgefield, Connecticut, organized the walkout for today, marking 19 years since the shooting at Columbine High School, when two gunmen opened fire, killing 13 people. It should have stopped with Columbine. Like, that was, that should have been the breaking point. Now, a new generation is calling for change after 17 people were killed in a shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. On March 14th, more than 100,000 students walked out of class. And last month, hundreds of thousands marched across the country in the March for Our Lives. Before the students began their march today, there was another school shooting at a high school in Ocala, Florida. One student was injured and another arrested. We're seeing it again and it hasn't stopped and the reaction to it is the same. That can't happen. Public opinion seems to be changing. According to a new ABC News Washington Post poll, for the first time in decades, a majority, 71%, think Congress is not doing enough to prevent gun violence. Maggie Bruley, ABC News, New York.